Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about quarter and half wavelength. We're going to use these two numbers to give people a feel for exactly what we're do dealing in room acoustics, how uh, unwanted room mode pressures come into play, and I think if we run through a simple calculation here you'll be able to get an idea. Notice that I've underlined the word wave here because it is a wave. It's a length of a frequency cycle. So you want to know the length of that wave. So the, the word really can tell you a lot about what you're doing. The quarter and the half a wave we'll get into later. There's some uh, theories on that, and they're just theories, by the way, and we'll, we'll talk about those in another video. But for purposes of this discussion, let's, let's just uh, work a little math and uh, get a feel for what we're up against. So it's going to be a calculation, and... We're going to use the speed of sound, and for constant and general purposes, we'll just use 1130 feet per second. We're going to divide it by the frequency in question. So in this example here, we're going to take a 40 cycle, 40 hertz wave, divide it into the 1130, which is the constant. We're going to get a little over 28 feet. How is that 28 foot wave going to fit in your 17 foot room? How is that 28-foot wave going to fit in a 14-foot width? And more importantly, in North America, how is that 28-foot long wave going to fit between your floor and ceiling? So you have to get a feel for the reasons behind all these issues within small room acoustics. A 50 cycle wave, same process, 1130 feet per second, we get about 22 and a half feet. Same question. How's 22 and a half feet going to fit in your 17 foot long room? 14 foot wide room and 8 foot tall room? It's not. It's going to cause issues. Those issues are going to be spread throughout the room, depending on room size and volume. If your speakers are in one pressure area and your seat is in another non-pressure area, you have problems. You won't even hear certain frequencies. 60 cycle wave, about 18, 19 foot. Same question again. Well, in this example, we have 17, so we're looking a little bit better if we have a 19 foot long 60 cycle wave. But you... You, you understand the, the situation here. you got a lot of length, and you're trying to squeeze it into a little box. So a lot of you have rooms that are too small. Your pressure levels and the modal pressure levels in the room are so many and so great that the amount of treatment you would have to put in just would make the room so small it would be unworkable. And I have the most powerful low frequency technology in the world. And if I can't manage your low end for you, nobody can. So when I tell you to find another room, this is a big reason why. Because the amount of low frequency absorption that you'd had to add to the room would make it so small. In most cases, most rooms require a room at least 12 inches all the way around to treat most frequencies. That's using the most powerful technology in the world. So you have to be cognizant of what you're trying to do. Don't try to squeeze a lot of energy in a small room. You have to be very, very careful. So this is quarter wave, half wave length. Of course, if we were using um, a quarter and half, we would just cut our distances. So half here would be, what, 14, half here would be 11, and half here would be almost 10. Or almost a nine and a half. So, and we'll get into a discussion of half and quarter way, uh, wavelengths uh, later. But I wanted you to see how we calculate length and apply it to your room so you can get an idea. So when you're looking at a room and you like a lot of low end and you got little, little distances, you're going to have big problems. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, 
send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com, and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and keep uh, updated on our new videos.